Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Nick and welcome to the small sub-series on this channel called How To Game. This is where I'll be showing you how to install mods, host multiplayer servers, and even give some in-game tips and tricks. However, today we're going to get away from the gaming aspect just a little bit and I want to show you guys a cool little trick with wallpapers if you've entered the amazing world of having more than one monitor. You probably come across the problem where you can't have multiple wallpapers. There's a program that's completely free and it's easy to use and I'm going to show you how to work with it. If you look in the description, you'll find the link to it and it takes you to the website. It is called Display Fusion. Click on this download now button right here, follow the simple steps and it should be easy peasy and you'll be right into it. Once you've got all that done, you'll get the program and it looks it should look something like this. Now, you could pay for the program, you can get some cool customization for your desktop monitor, uh, moving this around, changing colors, yada. It, it, it's got some actually pretty cool aspects to it, but if you just want wallpapers, you don't have to pay a thing for it, and you could work with it so. So that we're going to make a new wallpaper right now. I already have these right here, we'll just make a wallpaper out of it. But first, if you want to customize it anywhere, first you want to make sure your source is my computer. And your sizing is to fit best with maintain aspect ratio. Then you go to simply go to load images and you find the picture wherever you have saved it. Now let's apply this up here. Once it's done, as you can see in the background, it has changed. Go to personalize desktop background and you'll see it's right here. Now, every time you make a new wallpaper, this one right here will be will be deleted and replaced. But how did I get a slideshow effect as you saw in the beginning? Very simple. What I do is I have my the folder where I keep most of my junk and easy access. Let's go to wallpapers finished and you'll see I have three here, the original pictures I have, the wallpapers I'm using and backup of said wallpaper. So we go here. The first thing I'm going to do as soon as I make a new wallpaper is I'm going to click and drag into here. Then I'm going to right click on it, copy, back, and then I'm going to go to my backups of wallpapers and paste. Again, this is because if you make a new wallpaper, it'll delete whatever you have originally. And I'll show you right now. Let's say I want to use this wallpaper. And let's say I want to use, I just go back to the portal one. Make sure you have both boxes checked. It should pull up the slideshow effect now. If you see in the background, here's the portal one. It should go to the fable one. Yep. Now let's make a new one. Let's go to, let's change the first monitor, load image. Uh, let's make a half-life one. We'll do this one and we'll click on the second load image and we'll use him. That looks good. And then click apply. Wait for it to finish. Now it won't be slide showing because of Half-Life 3, I forgot it was Half-Life 3. We go to Personalize, Desktop Background, and you'll notice the two I had here originally are now gone. Thankfully, we have this, the copy pr uh, process and the backup process I showed you. We'll go back to that original folder. You'll notice those are gone too because I moved them in here. Thank God for backups. We're going to right click, copy, paste. Uh, what was the other one? Right click, copy, paste. Now we have all of our original ones back. We've got a new one. Hold, drag, drop. Right click, copy, paste. Now we have a backup of the new one we've just created. And now we can stick all of the ones we have here. Make sure they're all checked. Save your changes. Restore your originals with the backups. Copy. Paste. And bam, there you go. You now have multiple wallpapers with multiple screens and now you can show off to all your friends how awesome you are. I hope this helped you guys. If you've got any problems, please give me a message in the comics. I try to do my best to answer as many as I can, as fast as I can, as best I can. Again, subscribe, like, share, do whatever you guys want. You know, anything helps. You guys have a good one. I'll talk to you next time.